everybody, it's Secret Sincerely Drew, and I'm back today with another video. Turn down below. Y'all already know what it is. We back with another one. We are here with another Shein haul. If you haven't seen my other Shein hauls, it'll be down below and in the i cards above. But as you can tell, we have really been liking Shein. I don't know if you already know, but y'all gotta hop on this train. So this time I bought a whole lot more stuff from Shein. And we're just gonna get right into it because I don't want y'all time. So the first thing that we have from Shein is actually a set. But this you buy individually, you don't buy it in a set, so you can like mix it and match it. And the reason why I got this was also because it was a black creator. And you know, I gotta support the black creators, especially on Shein. So this one that I got was a two-piece set, but of course, like I said, you could buy it separately. And of course, it comes with the little biker shorts, and it comes with a oversized tee. So like when I say oversized tee, I mean like you could buy it in your size and it would be oversized. So they both just say thick AF. And I got the bottoms in the large. It comes with a tag as well, which a lot of Shein clothes don't come with. But it comes with a tag and it's just a size large. I will say the bottoms for these to be brown and for my skin to be brown, I would definitely let y'all know that they are see-through, but maybe it's because I am thick AF. I, I mean, like, I don't, I don't really know. But they are a little see-through, so I would just be cautious of what undergarments you are wearing but if you are wearing it with the oversized shirt it will cover your bottom anyway but just be careful of what undergarments you're wearing and then the top is like it's a nice top it has like a nice thicker sort of collar as well and i got this in a size medium so like i said this is an oversized size medium so if you buy your size and it will be oversized you can buy a bigger size but it would just be like you'll be swimming in it basically so I got the top in a medium and the bottom in a large. They're both really cute. I mainly got it because like I said, I had to support a black creator and I believe her Instagram name is Falls of Couture. And this comes from the Shein X line, which they recently got like different designers to make clothes for. So I had to support. So I will, I'll say y'all should go and support. I liked a lot of their pieces, but this is the one that I picked out. And I really like, it. it's a nice set that you could like lounge in or anything like that. But mainly I will just say, like I said, the bottoms are a little see-through, so just make sure you know what undergarments you're wearing with it. But other than that, I really like both of these. For shorts, I know I have thicker thighs and shorts usually tend to roll up on me, but as I was walking around in it, I didn't see any issues. So I would definitely say these are two things that you should pick up for sure, even if you just pick up like one or the other, but I really like these. Now, the next thing I got was a swimsuit cover-up. I did not buy any swimsuits in this haul, so I'm wearing clothes under it because I'm not trying to get flagged or anything by YouTube. But this is a cover-up that I picked up and I want to show y'all because it was really hard trying to find like a cute cover-up. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not like everybody else. When I get cover-ups, the point of a cover-up to me is so that you can take it off at some point in time. So I want it to be easily accessible to take it off because you know, you're gonna go to the pool, you don't wanna be doing everything. So I don't really like the pants cover-ups. Don't hold me to this because one day I might get them, but I don't, I'm not too fond of the pants cover-ups. The skirt cover-ups just, just seem like they'll be too short for me. And wearing shirt cover-ups also doesn't make any sense. So I really like dress cover-ups. And this one was really cute because like, it's like a nice, of course, it's like all see-through, but it's very mesh, and it's like a nice long, like, dress. So it kind of gives you a nice little, like, formal type of look, but, like, formal, but make it beach wear, you know? Formal, but make it pool, you know? So I really like it. It's a nice high neck line. It comes all the way up, and it's like a little halter top. And then, baby, the whole back is out. You tie it in the back. And to tie it by myself, it actually wasn't bad at all. So I would say that you don't really need another person to help you tie it, especially since it is just a cover up. So it doesn't have to like fit any sort of certain way. But I like it, the whole back is out. And it also has two slits on the side, which is also pretty cute. So you could, even if you wanted to, if you were like shorter or something like that, you could tie it, you could like tie it in a knot in the front and then tie it in a knot in the back. And it would still be really cute. But this is definitely a cute cover up. 
The next thing that I got from Shein was also another cover up because I couldn't decide in between the two. I just know that I wanted a cute dress, but I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. So this one is more of like a khaki cover up and this one is a halter top sort of thing as well. And the back is out too. And then this one also has two little slits on the side, but these slits come up further up to where it feels more like it's just a long shirt, whereas that was a dress with slits on the side. This one feels like a shirt that has slits on the side. So more of your thigh and more of your sides are gonna be out with this one. And then of course, it's also shorter in the front and the back. So this is also gonna work for short people as well. But I really like this and it only ties around your neck. So once again, you won't really need anybody to help you tie it around either. You should be fine tying it around yourself. So I like that, you know, convenience. You don't have to, you don't need another person to help you. So yeah, I like both of these swimsuit cover -ups. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be rocking this summer, but I definitely like both of them. So the next thing that I got was some sweatpants. So one thing with me, sweatpants are always like a really hard thing for me to find because many sweatpants or many joggers end up fitting like leggings because of the way that my thighs and legs are set up. And they just don't end up looking real good. It's either that or they're just too big. So I wanted to try out these um, sweatpants that actually came from, I believe, the same designer as the Thick AF set and just from the Shein X line as well. And these are just some nice, kind of like, it's a light peach. I don't know if I would wanna call it khaki, but you could call it khaki, but it's a very faint peach sort of color. You have the drawstring in the front that actually does bring the waistline in the front together. And just really cute. And also on the knee, it does say flaws of couture. But honestly, y'all, in the video, it may not look this way, but it just wasn't fitting like I wanted to fit. Like I said, it just fit more like leggings to me. And these are a size large. They fit more like leggings. They didn't fit like looser, like how I would want it to look. I wanted to go for like a nice relaxed look for it. And I wasn't getting that. Also, another thing for me, because of the way that my thighs are set up, you can't really tell this, I don't know if this is TMI or whatever, but the crotch area right here was not coming all the way up. And I feel like if I, if I would've kept trying to finagle the pants, I feel like it just at some point would've ripped or something like that. So these are going to get returned, unfortunately, but they are nice quality. I will say that for sure. Like it's a nice thick sort of jogger set. But for this to work out for me, I'll probably have to go plus size. But because I've never tried plus size clothes, I don't know if that would be too big for me or not, especially with the waistline. So that's one thing that I would say, probably size up if you want a sort of more relaxed look or if your thighs aren't as, if your thighs aren't shaped like mine, I don't know how to put it, but because of the way that my thighs are shaped, it just didn't work out for me. So I'm most likely gonna be returning them. But overall, I do like, the design of these. Like, I like the little scrunching in at the bottom, and I like the top. I just like the design, but it just didn't work out for my body type, unfortunately. Okay, y'all, so the next thing I got, I actually saw this on a Shein Live, and that's why I got it, but these are actually men's clothes, but it was just really cute, so do it really matter if it's men or women? If it's cute, it's cute. So, <laughs> I just got some gray jawstring shorts, I thought these were really cute because it just says New York on one of the sides. And I'm not a girl who usually wears shorts a whole lot because of the way that my thighs are set up and many shorts end up getting shorter on me or they're just awkwardly long or awkwardly short. So these I really like. They came at like a really nice level on my legs. And I just feel like I'll wear these a lot. It gives me very nice, casual sort of day, just chilling type of day sort of fit. So I really like these and I can see myself wearing this a lot. So don't be afraid to mingle over to the Shein men's side if you are a female. There's nothing wrong with that. Clothes are clothes, it's gonna fit either way. And I also got this in a size large, so just my regular size and it worked perfectly fine. And even if anything, there are little jawstrings in the front that can bring the waistline together as well. So I would definitely suggest getting these shorts. Okay, y'all, so the next thing I got um, were some of like these gray flare pants. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen a lot of these pants sort of going around the internet for like the past like year or two, but I haven't necessarily gotten into them, crazy. 
So I had to get me some. They're kind of like, they fit like a body kind of dress with. So it fits nice to your body, nice and stretchy. But these are also like a ribbed material as well. And then they flare at the bottom, which I thought was really cute. Just the whole vibe of these pants are really nice. You could dress it up, you could dress it down because it is gray. And I just really like it. I will also say that once again, it is a little see-through, but not to too much. Just make sure you're wearing like gray underwear. Just wear whatever underwear matches your skin tone best. And I think it'll be perfectly fine. You shouldn't have to worry too, too much about underwear lines because of the fact that these are ribbed. So the lines are going to camouflage. You're not really going to see them anyway. But I definitely like these pants for sure. It was, it was the flare at the bottom for me for sure. But I would definitely suggest these pants. They are stretchy. I got them in a size medium and they fit nice to my waistline and they're stretchy. So I'm pretty sure anybody with any smaller or thicker thighs could definitely fit into these as well. And I will also say that they're long. So if you are a shorter person, I will say that that is one thing you might have to like hem them up or something. For me, they come right exactly to the ground. So I will have to pay attention for like if it's raining outside or if where I'm at is pretty dirty, the bottoms might end up getting wet or something. But other than that, I feel like these are really cute. They should be an okay size for me. So yeah. Okay y'all, so the next thing that I have for y'all is three different items, but the video that you'll see, I'll put them all together because it's kind of how I envision wearing this outfit. So the first thing that we have are some just regular biker shorts. I, like I said, because of the way that my thighs are set up, shorts sometimes do and sometimes don't work on me. Sometimes I get shorts and then it end up being non-existent as I'm walking throughout the day. So I just wanted to buy some new shorts, even though I have 50 million of them. But I just got some biker shorts from Shein. I mean, nothing big, There, there's it's just biker shorts. I will say once again, you are shopping at Shein, so it is a little see-through, so make sure that you wear, make sure that you are wearing the proper undergarments but for what I wear for what I'm going to be wearing it for my bottom should be covered and if I ever wear it anytime after that I'll probably just work for like practices or something where I can like tie a jacket or something around my waist but other than that they're perfectly fine they actually come to an okay length on me for someone who has thicker thighs so I would definitely suggest these bottoms now why I got these bottoms is because of the white shirt that you're seeing me wear actually on Shein it looks like this and on Shein it's actually listed as a it's listed as a dress and baby I don't know I don't know who can fit into this as a dress but it's just I would say if you're wearing this as a dress size up size up once or twice for sure I think you should be fine if you size up because also if you you kind of can't see it because of the way that I'm wearing it, but the the dress kind of has a natural sort of curve to it. It kind of comes into your waist as well. So you'll be fine if you size up, but I would definitely say size up because I show you all that it is a little short for sure. Like if I was to wear this without shorts, my butt would be out. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like I wouldn't even have to walk for it to raise up. No, my butt would be out. <laughs> So I would definitely say either wear this with pants or shorts, like how I am, or size up for sure if you want to wear it as a dress, if you wanna be a little risky. But I got this because I really like the way that the sleeves are set up. I think it's really cute how the sleeves sort of fit, sort of flare out. I also like the natural curve that this has as well to it. So it kind of brings all the material in, which is really nice. And then it also kind of flares out at the bottom as well. So I definitely like this. Um, is it see-through? I'm not too, too sure, mainly because of the way that I was wearing it. So I, it didn't give opportunity to see any undergarments, but because it is white, of course, when you're wearing white clothes, you do have to be mindful of the undergarments that you are wearing. But I really do like this. And the material and make of it is actually pretty good. It does sort of feel and have the same material as you would be getting like a white professional sort of shirt or a men's um, professional shirt as well, or a blouse, whatever they call their shirts. But definitely, I do like this. I got it in a medium because of the way that I'm wearing it and because I don't see myself wearing this without pants. But if I was wearing this 
without pants, I would definitely size up for sure. But I definitely like the whole look. The pockets are faux though, so don't expect to put anything in the pockets if you were big into that. And then there are buttons on the sleeve that you can unbutton and button back up. And the buttons on the actual front do unbutton and button back up as well. And now the third part to that fit is this sort of tube top that I got to go with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be wearing this tube top or something that I'm getting in another haul as well, but I sort of put this with it just to have the sort of, you know, the sort of corset type of look to it. And I really like this. It's just a nice faux leather tube top. It's really cute. Um, this, I'm not even sure if I got this in a size. Okay, yeah, so I did get in this, this in a size. I got it in a size medium and it fits perfectly fine. I will say because of where this lands on my torso, I do have a shorter torso, so things fit a little different to me than they do for other people, along with a bigger butt. So I kind of showed you all in the video, but I turned around in this back part was sort of like curling up in the back. I'm not sure if it's because that it's too small and it should be bigger, or if it's because that's where my butt starts and that's where that starts to curve as well. But because I don't have the biggest chest in the world, I need a medium because I need a medium. If it was if it was a large, I'm pretty sure it would probably be falling off of me or it would just be a little bit too much space. Not falling off, but I feel like it would just be a little too much room and I wouldn't feel as comfortable being able to do whatever. But this shirt does also fit perfectly fine over the top as well. So I'm sure that it would I'm sure that it would probably have like a sort of different or a sort of looser fit if I were to wear it without the top. But I put all these together, but they all come separately on Shein. Now, the next thing that I picked up from Shein is a, this little tannish sort of top with the puffer sort of like sleeves that are mesh. I thought this was really cute. I saw, I got inspiration for this shirt from a fashion sort of blogger on Instagram. She didn't have the same exact shirt, but it was the colors that she put together and I really liked it. This is a really cute shirt. So it sort of has, the top is stretchy and it's like a tube top for the actual base of the top. I'm pretty sure I got this in a medium. And then the arms fit perfectly fine because they are this sort of puffer sort of style. It's gonna fit your arms no matter how big or small it is. The um, sleeves at the arms or at the wrist they have sort of an elastic so it should fit tight to your um wrist as well as right here where your elbow would be that also fits a little tight um and then right here as well where just right here of your shoulder would be which i'm not sure if that's your shoulder or not but <laughs> if it's tight right there that's where it comes to the next part that y'all i'm pretty sure y'all can see in the video the part of just like the arms and the sleeves the way that it's supposed to look is it's supposed to sit on top of your shoulder, but this part right here isn't as like strong of an elastic as everywhere else. So it continuously falls down, which isn't a huge issue because at the end of the day, I'm still getting the look that I'm going for, but I kind of wanted my shoulders to be covered, which isn't like a huge deal. So I'll probably go back in with some elastic just to make that, with another thing of elastic, just to make that tighter around my shoulders. But definitely, other than that, this is a really nice shirt. It is stretchy. The shirt, the sleeves aren't tight. I really like it. I would suggest getting it. It's cute, it's a vibe. It's a nice like spring, summer sort of vibe for sure. Okay y'all, so the next thing I got was sort of a wild card. I wanted to see how it was. I got it because it was on sale. I got this black sort of jumpsuit unitard, whatever you wanna call it. And it is also ribbed material. And it's just the long pants version of a jumpsuit with a strap scoop neckline. And honestly, I am surprised by it. I don't tend to get jumpsuits a lot or anything like that or rompers. That's probably why y'all haven't seen me wear them because my body is not shaped proportionally, if that makes sense. So I have a shorter torso than I do have legs. So when I buy things that are just like one full thing of fabric, that can tend to be a tough situation because you never know if it's like gonna fit the way that you want it to fit or not. But because of 
the ribbed knitting in this as well it kind of does work because there was a little extra fabric i'm not sure if y'all can see me messing around with it in the video but it does work out perfectly fine like because of how ribbed it is you can't even tell there's extra fabric there and it's also stretched it's also stretchy so i'm sure if like i size down that could work as well i got this in a size medium which was sizing down for me because my legs are definitely a size large so that can also let you know as well that this is a stretchy material because this baby this is the leg and my leg ain't that small my leg is not that small so i would definitely say that you can size down or go with the size of your torso and your top and then your bottom should fit perfectly fine um so yeah, this is this was really cute and I'm glad that I picked it up because it's, it's like a nice basic to have in your closet. You could do a lot with it and wear a lot with it as well. Um, I will say because it is ribbed and this is also sort of like a thicker material, you can't see too much through it. But of course, always stay safe with the undergarments that you're wearing. But because it is ribbed and a thicker material, you should be straight with this one. And the next thing that I got y'all was this dress. I got this sort of chocolate cocoa brown leather dress, of course, faux leather dress. I really liked it because the neckline, it was just giving me life. It was giving me skin, you know, brown on brown. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to get into the trend of brown on brown, I'm liking it. But this was really cute. The back is out, so make sure you have the correct undergarments. I was not wearing the correct undergarments in the video, but we'll be fine. <laughs> it was just a video. Um, I will say that this is really cute. It is a little short for my thighs, my thicker thighs, but it does, because it does stretch, this is a very stretchy material. It is very stretchy. It can pull down, but I know that this is going to be a dress that I will either have to wear if I'm not doing too, too much or something I can tell that I'm going to be pulling it down throughout the day if I'm doing too much. But other than that, I do think I'm going to keep it because I don't think that's a them issue. It is a shorter dress. That's not like a Shein issue. That's just more of the way that my thighs are set up. So yeah, but I do like it. It is very cute. It fits very nice. You just make sure that you're wearing the correct um bra with this as well but other than that it's really cute it's a vibe for sure i like it and um this sort of slip part where it sort of splits it is fully covered so you don't have to worry about anything like that but it does come up just a little bit if you can see right there in the front but other than that i like it this is a little short but you know we're we're being a little risky <laughs> And last but not least, last thing that we got in this haul is a set. This was bought together. I also got this because it was on sale, but I thought it was really cute. And this is just sort of like a gray ribbed sort of set that you could wear anywhere. So it comes with shorts. And I believe I got this in a size medium, yeah. So it comes in shorts. It comes with the shorts. These are pretty stretchy, so your legs can definitely fit in them. And they are actually pretty long. I didn't experience any rolling up or anything like that with it. And because, like I said, rib material is gonna be harder for you to see through. So this rib material, you can't really see through it with your undergarments, but always, you know, stay safe. And then it comes with sort of like this little crop top, top sort of thing, very crop crop top but it's really cute i like it i think this is definitely something that i can see myself wearing in the house just lounging in or just going out to do any like sort of quick errands and things like that but it's really cute it has a little patch on the top and the bottom that says love you more in 1992 without you um what that means i'm not sure maybe i should look into that <laughs> but it is definitely a cute set it fits really nice for this i would definitely say Pick the size of your top and the bottoms should fit because they are stretchy. So yeah, pick the size of what you would wear for a top and then go from there. But definitely, these were a cute find as well. So I would definitely suggest getting these. So sadly, y'all, that is the end of this Shein haul. But don't be afraid, there's more Shein hauls coming up and Shein hauls that I've done before. So make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you can know when those videos come out. And also, before we end this video, don't click off because we do have a little announcement. If you haven't seen this in any of my other Shein videos or on my Instagram, I am now officially a Shein Camps Ambassador for the University of Georgia. 
And with that comes a little promo code for you all as well. So if you're trying to save some coins on your Shein purchase, make sure you use my reference code, which is US392488S. US392488S. That will also be in the description box down below. If you have any confusion with trying to get it in, it is not a coupon, so it doesn't go in your coupon. That's gonna also allow you to be able to stack this code as well. This is actually something that you're gonna use in your reference code, it goes in your account. If you need any help going through that process and learning how to put this code in, I have a Shein Hacks video where I explain that process. And also you could go to my Instagram, at I'm Sincerely Drew, where you can follow me, just to talk a lot more on there because I'm always on there. There's a whole post dedicated to showing you all how to use this code and it should work for you all. As long as you spend over $29, you'll be able to save some coins with your purchase. So definitely, I just want to share that code with you all because we're all trying to save some coins. I'm in college. Y'all probably got money that y'all trying to save. Y'all are some hard workers. So I just want to share that code with y'all and just remember that I love you all so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dre, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.